calculation or don't you don't make people feel guilty if they make a decision that they don't want to have drugs put into them when i was out in america uh, 18 months ago the only cases of of um, polio that were coming across were the ones with the children that had the polio vaccine and most doctors out in the states were not letting their children have it what does that say to you it's empirical empirical wisdom experience oh eight four five six oh six oh nine seven three how do you make a decision on behalf of your children john in epsom talk to me afternoon jenny hi lo um, lovely if, i'm not a medical expert but i listen to the radio and i listen to lbc along with your competitors quite a lot and every single medical expert that you've ever had on lbc has always said that the nmr is a good thing and that all of the evidence against it has been refuted yeah. So Does that make it right? Well, yeah, I pretty much think it does, actually, yeah. How come? Well, you, you sound like... Uh, hit, when you hit, talk about... Go uh, on. You, when, you, when you say um, my four kids or this lady's four kids were fine because they didn't have it, mm. you sound like one of these people who said my auntie Flo lived to be 110 and she smoked 100 cigarettes a day. There's always going to be someone... But in general... But, aren't you, but wasn't Auntie Flo allowed to do that? And was yes, she... she was, but would she have done it, and would you have let her do it, and would the world have been happy for her to do it if we knew now... What we knew if then? We knew, if, if we knew then what we know now. But that's, that, but that's precisely why I didn't want my kids or my granddaughter, and I don't know what Zoe's choice is going to be, but that's precisely because we do know what we know now, that I don't want to go in any, go anywhere near drugs. You know, I'm 60 in a couple of weeks, well, about eight weeks' time, and people say to me, oh, would you go on HRT? And would you do this and would you do that? No. Would I have plastic surgery? No. And I'm not unusual in that, John. It's just that the media, the media and the drug companies would like to make me unusual. But do you not feel that all this information that's out there, yeah, it is being weighted in a certain direction? Um, yeah, to frighten us. A, no, I don't think it is to frighten you. The, the one of the guys on James O'Brien's um, show this week mm. had written a book called Bad Science. Right. And... He went on about all the things. Like your previous lady was a homeopath, and all due respect, the, the guy talking about bad signs was talking about all kinds of things which people regard as remedies. And he, as a doctor, was laughing at the. the um, Listen, let me put this to you. That, John, let me put this to you. And it's a good point, and I take your point. But let me put this to you. My nan, if he had an ear infection, would have put salt in a sock, heated it up, somehow because she didn't have microwaves, and stick it behind the ear, and good golly, M Miss Molly, that ear infection would, would slow down in some way. Now, there's not a lot of science in it, but it blooming well worked. You don't know there's not a lot of science in it, Jenny. Uh, well, no, but what I'm saying... It might be down to the heat on the back of the ear. Of that course, of course it is. Uh, but, but you said it yourself, John... Evidence, scientific evidence, and the media, all of us, we all weigh things in a particular way so that we, we come up with the answer that we want to come up with. If you are funding a vaccine as a drug company, you are going to want to frighten people into having to take it because somebody's got to make the money out of it. And it's all down, in the end, it's all down to economics. And I'm delighted, actually, that you listen to LBC. It's wonderful because it means that you are listening to both sides. Bad science... Absolutely. And, you know, Darwin was born 100 years ago this week, and there's a lot of people who thought Darwin had it wrong. Things change, John. Amanda in Haywards Heath, talk to me. Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, I've got eight children. Muzzle <laughs> Thank you. Are you much. still sane? No, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Go on. Um, and I started off, I was quite young, I was 20 when I had my first, so I started off doing everything I was supposed to do and presented my daughter for all her vaccinations. Um, and she had everything and my second daughter had everything and then my son was born and he reacted very badly to the first what was then I think the double or triple jab um, so he didn't have any more although he did then have the MMR well he, he had some more but he didn't have any more whooping cough he then had the MMR mm. um, and then when he was three he was diagnosed as autistic and so I got quite involved in vaccines because I wasn't sure um, my paediatrician was quite sure that it was the cause of autism but i mean i didn't know um and from then on i decided not to have my children vaccinated and i just thought i'd just be better be on the safe side my pediatrician was completely in agreement she thought it was great 
The GPs weren't. They were always very unhappy that I didn't have them vaccinated. Why, why though? What is it that the GPs won't take on board that the paediatrician did? I don't know. I mean, my paediatrician's great. She's a very holistic paediatrician. She was the, the sort of big chief consultant down at a hospital on the south coast. So she was a very good, very, very good paediatrician. But she, she very much believed in in just sort of holistically looking after the child. Um, she didn't like giving drugs for things if you didn't need But, you know, pe people do throw guilt things at you, don't they? They must say to you, it's all right for you, Amanda. Um, How do you cope with that? They, they, yeah, they probably do. Well, I, the, the main, main thing I found is my eldest who had everything, she actually had a really bad case of whooping cough about two years ago. And we did get quite a lot of um, things thrown at us then, but she was the one that had been vaccinated. Right. None of my other children picked it up. And so what, what would you say? What would you I mean, it's not my job to say to people, don't do it. It's not my job to, to do any of that. But you're allowed to have your say. What would you say to people as a mum of eight little lives that you are deeply responsible for? What would you say to people who are in two minds about it? Um... <laughs> Well, I would, I would never, I never recommend having children vaccinated, and people think I'm very strange. Um, but my, all my younger children that haven't been vaccinated have been very, very healthy. Um, the youngest had measles about three months ago, and he was fine. He wasn't very well for about a week, ten days, and then he was fine. And none of my others picked it up. So I think they must have a certain amount of natural immunity, and I'm far, far happier for them to have developed that natural immunity than to be constantly being filled with, with artificial substances. Well, thank you so much, my darling. That's Amanda in Haywards Heath. Just was listening to your show. If people actually took the time to look at what's in vaccines, they would think twice about giving them to their children. As well as not being 100% effective, they also have cancer-causing agents. Also, a child's immune system takes approximately two to three months to fully get up and running from birth. Also, if we look at the countries who have the highest populated vaccinated, you will notice that they have the most allergies. I'm not totally against immunizations, but we should be giving children at least a year to develop their own immune system to deal with the onslaught. I didn't say that. I wish you'd given me your name. Um, there's a third way, says somebody else who's nameless. Why not allow children to have the jabs individually? Why not? It's half past two. M3, LBC 97.3. It's 2.31. Um, in an hour's time, I'm talking to Colin Salmon, that suave actor. Somebody thought it was going to be Doctor Who. Somebody thought he was going to be Bond. We don't care what he is, as long as he comes in to LBC 97.3. And he is. He's going to be just slouching in to uh, Leicester Square in one hour's time. I've just got one or two announcements before I take your calls. And there are many of you who want to talk about this measles thing. I get so impassioned about it because I think it's about freedom and I think that self-responsibility for your body and your children and health is top of the list you know early to bed early to rise makes you healthy wealthy and wise the four square of life health wealth love and perfect self-expression where do you go from there about being healthy and you have to make a decision don't you on behalf of your children it's the worst decision to have to make should you shouldn't you it's all right when you're making it for yourself but i want you to tell me why you think we need to have this measles jab and why i've got several things i'm going to read out in a minute why why you think it's not necessary oh eight four five six oh six oh nine seven three and i will be talking to a doctor in a moment and some who is pro jabs i just have to uh, make two announcements um the audience with jenny barnett now um i'm afraid most of the second row has already gone and i'll tell you why in a minute but um it's with me thursday the 26th of march 2009 quarter to eight, Fairfield Hall Croydon, uh, Fairfield Halls Croydon, I'm told by Steve Allen it's a great venue to play, I need you to be there so I can play it, it's 020 86 88 92 and it will be on the website, blast I missed that, go and find my presenter page and then you can get the details and then book your tickets the reason the second row's gone is because Nylonsky have booked it um, I would be grateful if you give a little reminder on your show that Breast Fest 09 is taking place at Westminster Central Hall put it in your diary 31st of January it's a music concert to raise funds towards mobile breast screening units across the UK and as you know Nylon Nylonsky are one of the headline